today we are off for a day out in West London. Clapham Junction, the busiest train junction in the world. We are heading out towards Richmond and the Royal Botanical Gardens. We're heading to Kew to see the orchid exhibition. So last weekend, this weekend, and uh, also we want to see the hive, which uh, has be recently been opened. Hopefully the weather's going to stay with us. Yeah, it's a little dodgy at the moment. Kew Gardens. The orchid exhibition in the Princess of Wales Conservatory reflects many of India's finest orchids and cleverly crafted characters and animals in a colourful and vibrant display. Some of the displays were in the shape of exotic animals and others in the shape of rickshaws, enhancing the Indian theme of the display. There are a huge number of orchid species, many with elaborate, colourful flowers and fragrant scents. The orchids are displayed among the normal plants of the Princess of Wales Conservatory. Chris takes the opportunity to dust off his DSLR and take some stunning floral photos. Andy tries out his new 4K camera with a selection of lenses to capture the experience for this vlog. This popular and complex glasshouse was opened in 1987 by Diana, Princess of Wales, and is divided into 10 tropical zones. Each zone has a different climate and is filled with a range of plants and flowers from the different regions, from insect-eating carnivorous plants to cactus and succulents. The hive is the newest attraction at Kew, inspired by the study of bees. It comes to life with sounds, lighting and people swarming around the 40-ton structure. Set in 300 acres of grounds, the gardens and attractions stretch out alongside the River Thames and form a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The iconic palm house maintains the humid climate of African, South American and Australasian rainforests. Visitors get to experience some of the most endangered species of palms, vines and trees native to the humid rainforests at both ground level and high up in the canopy. In the basement is an aquarium with some very curious fish. Well here we are, today we're in Kew Gardens and I'm just trying out this new extra wide lens just to see what it's like. Well the rain's set in so I think that's going to end our day at Kew Gardens. We've uh, had a look at the orchid exhibition that has been on and that's just finishing today. We had a look at the hive for yep. the first time. Saw the hive which was interesting. Well we've just left Kew Gardens and we're out now on the River Thames 
and the sun's just peeking through so we actually got a rainbow there for a second just behind us but I think it's disappeared again now um, but I think it's that time in the afternoon where we go find a nice little pub that we know down by Kew Bridge so we're just trying out this Olympus 9mm fisheye lens as well just to uh, see what that looks like for sort of vloggy type stuff um, whether everything looks all very weird. We're walking along the Thames path and um, all you can hear is planes coming into Heathrow on the final approach. It seems to be like a few foot above our heads so we have to duck every time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. You can probably hear. And that's where we finish up today, with burgers and beer, before heading home for the evening.